Today, the Janiel Clements Breast Cancer Research Institute Symposium was held at the U of A. It was an opportunity to hear about some of the work the Institute is doing to help find a cure to breast cancer. Earlier this week, I sat down with Jenny Clements herself to learn more about her life that's led to her work and contributions at the U of A. How do you react to, to diagnosis of, of breast cancer? Cry. You cry a lot. It was very, very traumatic. Jenny Clements was just 15 years old when a doctor told her the unexpected. I had breast cancer and it needed to come out immediately. Next morning I woke up and I didn't have a breast, I didn't have lymph nodes, and I didn't have a muscle. That was back in 1956. We didn't talk about it. Nobody in the school ever asked me anything at all. It's a topic she shied away from for decades. And then you wonder how your life is going to be, if any man will ever like you or love you. Will you ever get married? That certainly was in my mind. But those thoughts quickly disappeared when she met her first husband, Bill Clements. And he asked me to get married two and a half weeks after we met. And we were married three months later. They moved to Tucson in 1974, had two beautiful children and ran Golden Eagle Distributors, the local distributor of Anheuser-Busch products. In 1995, Bill passed away from lung cancer. Jenny went another decade staying silent about her own cancer journey until this book changed her life. Promise Me is a story about Susan G. Komen. And I decided in 2006 that I would start talking about breast cancer. So I started a Jenny L. Clements Breast Cancer Fund and I donated $50 uh, a year. $50 to mark 50 years since her cancer diagnosis. But I sold Golden Eagle so I had a little bit more money and uh, decided that I wanted to make a difference. Three years ago, the University of Arizona received an $8.5 million gift to establish the Jenny L. Clements Breast Cancer Research Institute. I wanted to see everything work. I want to see that I am helping men and women who have breast cancer. But whether it's $50 or $8.5 million, Jenny says it's not about the money. Because it doesn't matter what you give, if you give. It doesn't matter if you give a dollar. It doesn't matter if you give $25. Give, give something to something that you are really passionate about. Little did she know her life's passion was sparked when she was a teenager. I've been blessed and uh, I can't thank the Lord enough for blessing me to do something for others. So let's go back to what 15 year old Jenny was thinking after being diagnosed with breast cancer. And then you wonder how your life is going to be, if any man will ever like you or love you. Fast forward to today. But here I am today, 67 years later, and uh, I'm okay and happily married to Tom Rogers. So I found two wonderful men who loved me for me. I didn't have a breast with both of them. I don't have one now. But what she does have is hope in her Breast Cancer Research Institute. I could survive anything. So that others can be survivors just like her. I hope both of my children are very proud of me. And I want to thank Jenny for sitting down with me doing that interview and just sharing her life story that has led to massive contributions and hopefully so many lives saved.